do the opening. Oh, come on, really? Hello? Hello? Uh, look, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get into the room so I can do the opening segment, the thing I usually do to set up my Let's Plays, but it seems that the door is locked. And it doesn't lock with a key. I think I know how to open it. Come on.
like we have a winner. Whew. That took a little bit of doing. Sorry about that. One day I'll see if I can't get that door fitted with a key lock like a normal person. But until that point, greetings everyone. I am Lotus Prince. And for this Let's Play, for the start of my fifth anniversary of uploading videos, we are going to play one of the most influential, one of the most popular horror franchises out there. We are going to play Resident Evil. This game is one of the earliest survival horror titles. Needless to say, the game is scary, but as far as the survival part is concerned, you are equipped with weapons, you are equipped with guns, but while ammo is present, it's never quite as present as you would like. The game quickly turns into a battle of, should I fire, or should I try running away from the enemy that I can save my ammo for when I know I absolutely need it. Therefore, the player is always put under a very high level of pressure. What should I do? Is this battle worth fighting? Not to mention, healing items are scarce as well. You can't just run in guns blazing, you'd risk getting hurt. And while in a lot of games getting hurt is easily dealt with, in Resident Evil, health items are, again, not as plentiful as one might like. So the entire game is, in a sense, kind of micromanagement. You have things, but should you use them? Guess you'll have to find out by progressing through the game. Now, as you may have noticed, I am holding the director's cut of the game. This is nice in that it actually contains the vanilla version of Resident Evil as well as the arranged mode, which is what the director's cut actually is. For the purpose of starting from the beginning, I am going to be playing the vanilla mode. Now, you can play as one of two members of the elite tactical rescue team STARS. Chris, the guy on the cover, or Jill. I am going to be playing as Jill because her playthrough is a little bit easier than Chris's and Resident Evil is a difficult game. But don't worry, I'll get back to Chris's playthrough in a later title. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Now, this does kind of leave you without seeing the arranged mode, so what I'm going to do is at the end of the LP I will feature some clips of the arranged mode and do a side-by-side -side comparison, or at least a one after another, comparison of rooms, if they look any different, different camera angles, item placement, puzzles, whatever. So you still get to see at least some differences between the versions of the game. Resident Evil 1 is a brilliant game, and it holds up surprisingly well. The basic premise? You come to investigate some violent activities, and you end up getting trapped in a mansion due to monsters running around outside. Your mission? Deal with whatever else is hanging around in the mansion, and see if you can't find a way out. Sounds simple, but this mansion is needlessly convoluted, and... There might even be a conspiracy going on at the same time. Perhaps you should unravel that one as well. This game has a lot of horror, a lot of fun, and a lot of intrigue, so I very much look forward to playing this amazing series. So, without further ado, let's go crazy. old PlayStation logo. I can't even remember the last time I heard that.
that takes me back. You know, it looks cheesy as hell now, and I'm sure it looked kinda cheesy then, but this is pretty hardcore considering you didn't see real life in video games back then. Guess I'm doing a new game. Now this is something that I think is uh, added to the director's cut, standard, training, or advanced. I think in the original version of the game, you just played it. There was no difficulty. I'm going to go with standard. And by the way, I really like that they give you standard first. Like that's the way the game should be played. It's normal, easy, then hard. <laughs> rather, rather interesting design choice. God, that takes me back. Oh my god, that takes me back. So, shall I play as Chris Redfield or Jill Valentine? Both of whom are real people and therefore look remarkably different from what they look like later. I'll go with Jill because despite having less health, she's kind of easy mode as she can carry two more things in her inventory than Chris can. Eight versus six. And... Her little special item that she carries with her all the time is a lockpick, whereas Chris needs to find little small keys to get in certain locked doors. On top of that, certain situations just play out more easily for her in general. Resident Evil 1 is a hard game, and I would like to actually get through it on a first playthrough. Nineteen ninety-eight, July, Raccoon Forest. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in Northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of our mission. No, I haven't found it. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about 10 people. Victims were apparently eaten. Bravo team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. was Bravo Team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why. Oh boy. Chris Redfield. Oh my god. Jill Valentine. Mary Burton. Rebecca Chambers. Albert 
Wesker. Doing his hair. Resident Evil. You know, I have to say that despite the really cheesy line delivery, that was a that was an actually intense scene. So they went where they thought it was safe, yet. Whoa. What is this? Wow. What a mansion. Captain Wesker, where's Chris? Stop it. Don't open that door. <laughs> but Chris is. What is it? Maybe it's Chris. Now, Jill, can you go? I'm going with you. Chris is our old partner, you know. Oh my god. Okay, let me handle this. Stay alert. Jeez. You know, I, of course this game is famous for its awkward line delivery, but, man, when you hear it all at once... <laughs> Oh yeah. How do I select? Start? Just oh, start. Okay. Yeah, as this might sound ridiculous. Like this might sound absurd. But I don't think I've ever played Resident Evil with a PlayStation controller. What, what is this? <laughs> what is it? Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Hope this is not Chris's blood. Yes. But yeah, like I was saying, I don't think I've ever played Resident Evil with a PlayStation controller. As outrageous as that seems. I played Remake for the GameCube, Code Veronica for the GameCube, Resident Evil 4 and Zero for the GameCube. Even 5, I think, was on the 360. 1, 2, and 3, the originals, I think, I done on an emulator, maybe in college or something, because I didn't have a PlayStation anything. Oh, boy. There it is. The face that launched 1,000 children screaming in terror. Excuse me for a second. Should I... Yeah, let's do it. He's Kenneth, from the Stars Bravo team. Now he's become a mere shadow of his former self. Will you take the clip? You'd better believe it. Yes, I will. Now for the tricky part. Never mind. I could fight the zombie, but if memory serves, that's the hardest zombie in the game. He takes way too much to put down. So I'll just run away and have Jill's easy ending. Barry? What is Watch out! It's a monster! Let me take care of this. Yeah, pop the head. It. <laughs> Kenneth was killed too. Maybe by this creature. Maybe. Anyway, let's report this to Wesker. You know you're in bad shape when you've been in the house for five minutes and one of your men is dead. I've got a report. Oh, I can't go back. I might as well actually do what they've told me to do and go to Wesker. You know, people don't really seem to like the tank control style, and I don't know what they think of the still camera angles, but boy, does it add atmosphere. Wesker! <laughs> Help me look for him, Jill. And don't leave this hall for the time being.
Oh, I'm just playing. How about, forget this, let's get out of here. Oh man, if I played this when I came out, I would have flipped. It's too dangerous to go outside. To be fair, yeah it is. It's the whole reason we're in here in the first place. Anyway, time to, uh, search for Wesker. Can't I keep walking? There we go. And we're done searching. Find anything, Jill? Nothing. What is this all about? I can't figure it out at all. Beats me, too. Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. I don't know what's going on. Well, it can't be helped. Let's search for him separately. I'll check the dining room again. Okay. I'll try the door on the opposite side. This mansion is gigantic. We could get into trouble if we get lost. We should start from the first floor, okay? And... Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. Thanks. Maybe I'll need it. Okay, I'll be honest with you. Another reason I chose Jill? For Barry. Listen, if something happens, let's meet up in this hall. This time, I'll be there. <laughs> oh my god. This line delivery is killing me. This is amazing. Okay, anyway. We said we checked the hall on the opposite side, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh yeah, I, sh I should check out... Well, I'll, I'll be in the hallway with Kenneth's body anyway, later on. Oh my god, this... I'm, I'm probably going to be saying this a lot, but this room really, really takes me back. Would you look... Oh yeah! Oh yeah! No? Can't I... Huh. That's great, but isn't there... Yeah, I don't need to be in here. Is... How... There it is. Is that good enough? There's gotta be a way to climb this thing, right? How does one... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't I feel silly. Don't I feel silly. There may, there may be no climbing. I may be uh, getting a little ahead of myself with... Uh... Yeah, you know what? You know what's going to make me feel really stupid? If I don't need the box at all. And I bet you I don't need the box at all. <laughs> Let's find out. Sorry, the stairs just were not a thing that existed in the GameCube version. I don't know how to handle it. it oh, well, it's a map of the first floor. Will you take it? You got the map of the first floor. Yeah, the only purpose that crate served was to be pushed out of the way to go into this area, which is a costume room for the new Game Plus Zone, which I do not happen to care about. So... What is it, select? Triangle? Do I have to check the map from the inventory? Oh god. Oh good, okay, I can... I can keep checking with this. Alright. Anyway. I guess I checked here, I suppose I'll keep going. Ah, uh, see it? Lockpick, you like that? Now that's how it's done. That is some tacky wallpaper. Christ!
just jumps right in. Well then. Also, major pro tip. It saves on the reloading animation for when you're in a real fight. Now let's test if this doesn't happen. Yup. Can't fool me. Thank you, auto-targeting. Okay, and the hallway is safe. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. I, I keep pressing the circle button to back up, but the circle button just has no function at all in the game, so that's a little problematic. But you know what? Did any of the creepy stuff? I could have sworn. Yeah, you. Right? Doesn't this look like something? You're damn right. Thank you, GameCube Remake. I remember things from you. Alright, I have my clip. Oh, boy. That's some dramatic camera. I actually like that. It's locked. Armor. Okay, I need the armor key. I remember that much, at least. Was this the bathroom? I think this was the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I actually have a reflection. I like that. Nothing useful. If memory serves, this bathroom is completely pointless. Alright, well, atmosphere. God, am I happy about a map in this game. That's what I like to see. <sighs> Alright, so what can I make of this place? What in... Deed. You know what? At this point, I think I would most benefit from actually running by Barry again. There's a certain something I desire. And this hallway ought to be safe. Wait, 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 wait. There's another weird dresser, huh? Ah, nothing under that one. Alright, game. You got me. Let's get out of the tacky wallpaper hallway. Ugh, look at this room, it's all gloomy. I am pleased to see that item locations reset though, because it doesn't look like I can pull in this game, and even in the GameCube version I don't think you could either, so it's nice to see that I can't just break the game. Whew, this endlessly ticking clock will drive me mad. Alright, let's, let's go ahead and take a look at Kenneth's corpse one more time. Yeah. Alright, I, I can't make the text go any faster. Yeah, the head's missing. Oh boy. Anyway. Okay. I guess I'll go the only way I can, from this hallway. Or, you know, not. Fine, be that way. One of these was locked by the sword key, right? That's the lockpick door. Not just locked from inside. Alright, well, let's go. God, these angles. Brilliant. 
Oh, I remember this room as well. I'm not sure there's anything I can do here, but I'll check the place out. A fine grand piano. I immediately like this room. Will you take the music notes? I would have called it sheet music, but alright, I took actual music notes, that's fine. This is one thing I love about this game, is you could actually do this. Super cool. Moonlight Sonata. I love that tune. I really do. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have backtracked. It looks like there's nothing else I can actually really do in this area, so that's kind of unfortunate. Well, that's fine. I did my checking. I can go. Just making sure that all bases are covered. Right. Other side. And you know, out of curiosity... Armor key again. Looks like I have some business to take care of, huh? I'll catch myself up to the hallway with the bathroom in it, and then we'll move on. One last time, though. Maybe if I push this the other way? Nothing. Alright, so one of these things that I can move was a waste of time, the other was not. Duly noted. Looks like we have a little dilemma. Which door should I choose? Well, for now, I'm going to stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a decent amount of progress today. We entered the legendary Spencer Mansion, and we started to explore. Now it's a matter of trying to find out what's going on. The party's been split up, Kenneth is immediately dead, and we have no idea where Wesker is. And at this point, we don't even know where Barry is. We've come under attack twice, both in the same room, the two dogs, as far as gameplay is concerned. We haven't really had to fight any zombies ourselves yet. I'm sure there's going to be more than enough of that in the upcoming installments, however. Until next time, everyone.